All right, David Harry here, and in this video, I'm going to do some handbrake video encoding speed tests using a couple of different types of codecs, and I will explain this as I go along, but just first of all, if we have a quick look at handbrake for a bout handbrake here, as we can see, I'm on version 1.4.0 beta. Now what this means is, is that this version of Handbrake is now running native on the Mac M1 processor. So what I'm going to do in this particular video is to test for hardware encoding versus software encoding. And by hardware encoding, what I mean is using the video toolbox function. And then by software, what I will do is just use X264 and X265. So what I'm going to do is like two sets of double encodes for testing times one for h.264 one for h.265 and on the software versions i'm going to be using x264 x265 and then for the hardware variants i'm going to be using both the same which is going to be the apple video toolbox okay so what i'm going to do first of all is the let's see i'll do the h.264 versions first so what i'm going to do is briefly explain what i'm doing here just so you've got a really good idea of how i'm proceeding with this particular test so the input file that i'm going to use is going to be the same across all of them and it is this file here now this file is 4k uhd it is 24 frames per second it is 10 bit and it has also got a chroma subsampling of 420 now i'm going to use that as the common file just so that we've got some continuity running through the test now what i'm also going to do is just stick to a fixed bit rate of a hundred thousand kilobits per second now it is not entirely necessary to use a bit rate like that for such an encode however this is not going to be testing for quality or file size or anything this is literally speed tests so in that instance we just pick a bit rate and stick to it because the bit rate will not affect the speed of the encode and like I say this is not a picture quality or a file size test okay so to start off with then the input file and the output of it as we can see here are registering as 4k UHD if I go to chapters down here, there are no chapters. It says chapter one, it is just the beginning of the file. Subtitles, there are none. Audio, I am at 320 kilobits per second for the output. And as far as filters are concerned, there are no filters. Okay, so let me just go to video and this is where like all the main stuff happens. Now what I'm gonna do is do the H.264 variants first. So first of all, what I'm going to do is go up here and select H.264 X264. Now importantly, this is going to be 8-bit. And the reason why I'm choosing 8-bit as far as X264 and X265 are going to be concerned is because Video Toolbox encodes out at 8-bit as well. So once again, like for like as best as possible. Okay, so I've selected H.264 X264. I'm on constant frame rate, which is important for this because I have no interest in variable frame rates. Now, as far as preset and tuning are concerned, what I'm going to do for this particular test is to put preset on ultra fast. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because this particular slider here, when you're using it in software mode like X264 and such, what happens is up here, it will do like kind of, or the easiest way to see this is when you put it on ultra fast, it does the least amount of pre-processing. And if you come down here, I mean, probably very slow and placebo, there's no difference between them really. Uh, but once you start coming down here, it'll start changing a few different types of things, you know, and effectively what that will do will give you a more involved pre-process as well. Also certain parameters within the encode change, such as like B-frame structures and stuff like that. And like, you know, the pyramid type and such and all kinds of things like trellis and that. I don't have the time to get into any of that right now, but nonetheless, the simple way of looking at this is, when it's on ultra fast, it'll do a fast encode, and it won't take as much care and attention to doing the encode. And then when you come down here to placebo, it takes a lot longer because it's doing a lot more to the file in pre-processing and also as it is encoding it. However, because we're gonna be matching this up against something that is going to be very fast as well, which doesn't give us these options, to be fair, I'm going to put this on ultra fast. And also as well, if you're using a high bit rate, 
this preset here quite often won't really matter if the bitrate is high enough you won't see any visual differences between these things once again this is not a kind of like picture test quality test or anything like that so i have to be careful not to get too bogged down with stuff but the thing is with anything like this as soon as you start going near anything to do with video encode and because loads of people find it very contentious you have to be kind of like mindful of how people are going to look at these things but nonetheless i've give you a very basic explanation of what that slider does to here and for the reason why i'm going to be using the preset set to ultra fast okay now as far as tuning is concerned there is none and as far as profile and level is is concerned that's all set to auto also as well the thing is here i want to kind of get this done the quickest way and again try and do it like for like as best as possible so what i'm going to do here is use an average bit rate of a hundred thousand kilobits per second now what i'm going to do is dump everything to the desktop so let me just put an extension onto the end of this so i'll call this h2 in fact no i know x264 sorry my keyboard's in a weird place i'm having to look at the monitor and try and catch all of the keyboard <laughs> Right, so there we go. So that's X264, I'll, and that's because this is the X264 preset. Now what I'm going to do, let me just kind of get this one on the go. So, oh, actually, in fact, one other thing. <laughs> right, I've got a stopwatch here. And the reason why I've got a stopwatch is because unlike on PC, Handbrake on Mac doesn't actually give you the end time down here. It probably does up here in activity or something like that, but we want to kind of see clearly something going on on the screen as it's doing it, hence why I'm going to use a stopwatch. So start and then start up there now i'm probably off by a second when i press start here and press start up there so we'll knock a second off at the end okay so what's going to happen here then is this is going to do its thing so what i'm going to do here is speed it up and then i'll come back about 10 seconds from the end and let's see where we're up to Okay, so I'm just going to come in here at the last 10 seconds. As soon as that either it's zero or disappears, I will hit pause here. Okay, so we're very close to it now. There we go. Okay, right. So I reckon I might have been a second late in hitting pause, and I was a second out at the start. So I'll knock two seconds off there. So I'm going to call that one minute and 32 seconds now like i'm stressing here this is a speed test it is nothing to do with file size or picture quality or anything like that however for those who are interested let me just run through those so as far as the file size is concerned we are on 755 megabytes for the file there now of course if i'd have dropped down that bit rate that would have been smaller so i could have went like all the way up here to very slow drop down the bit rate had the same kind of looking picture or possibly even better picture i don't even know what this looks like properly really um so there is a whole bunch of variables in here which could have brought down that file size but like i say this is a speed test now if i double click on this file hopefully it's going to play and we'll get a bit of an idea of what it looks like Okay, now the only problem there with playing that file is you are not seeing the file exactly as it was just encoded because you're now looking at another encode of an encode. So that is the reason why some of these things don't really work out so well on YouTube is because things like concatenation kind of like you know are introduced to as far as like you know the video quality is concerned and such okay so with that said then let me move on so what i'm going to do now is get on and do the video toolbox variant and as we can see down here i've just kind of give it a new title so i've called it vt264 just so that we know exactly what it is that we're encoding also as well as we can see everything is like for like here except for the fact that i've just chosen video toolbox up here as the encoder also as well if we have a look at preset we can't change this around so this is the reason why i'm using ultra fast as well as far as the software encoders are concerned again i'm trying to do stuff here as like for like as possible there is no guidance out there to say you know roughly where in the ballpark would the video toolbox be compared to x264 or x265 as far as any of the tunings and the presets are concerned this is the reason why i'm 
going to like air on the caution of being really safe and comparing them both at their fastest okay so what i'm going to do here is same thing i'll time this now i may not have to speed through this one uh to be honest actually i've not done a video toolbox at h.264 yet i've only done the h.265 version so this is going to be interesting for me as well so again let start and start so start and start now obviously i've probably been out by about a second there i will remedy that at the end by knocking a second off the total time and like i say it's probably going to be unnecessary to do a speed up here um okay yeah well that's actually looking decent so i will hold off from hitting the speed up button on my edit system and we'll just go through this uh, so like i say what we're doing here it's pretty much everything is going to be as like for like as possible between the two codecs being h.264 and h.265 okay so we're down to 20 seconds there Okay, doke. Well, this is definitely going to come out faster. Again, this is the first time I've seen this happen as well. So this is going to be new for me. So let me get ready to hit pause here. Okay, so hold on. Oops, okay, there we go. Right, so I reckon my reaction time at the end was out by a second. I was out by a second at the start, so I'm gonna knock two seconds off there. So I'm going to call that 57 seconds. Okay, and just for the sake of thoroughness, because we did it before, let's have a look at the file size on this and we'll quickly play the file. So I think that's the one, yeah, VT264. So click on that and let's go to get info and the file size is 738 megabytes in, in in total size let's have a quick look at it play back hold on there we go so that's playing back there once again like i want to keep reiterating here this is a speed test and the only reason why i'm doing like you know let's have a look at the file size and let's have a look at the file playing it's just because people will invariably ask these questions despite the fact that this is a speed test and like i keep saying as well due to the effects of like concatenation what we're going to be getting here is an encode being re-encoded as well so you are definitely not seeing here what i'm seeing as well straight after the first encode now with that said let me change everything over so let me just clear that. Let me change this to, let's see. Oh yeah, we're on H.265 H now. So I'm gonna go H.265, X265 first. So this is the software encode version. And we are gonna be doing H.265 using X265 as the encoder. Once again, like for like as far as possible in comparison between the two sets of encodes. Okay, so once again, ultra fast here. So everything is identical to how, how it has been, except for now I've swapped over to X.265 at eight bit. So this is the software variant for H.265. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll call this, x265 okay i think that should do us let's see is that everything sorted i think it is so again start and start and um, i may have to speed this one up let's see what happens when it starts so let's start there and start there again i was probably about a second out there so we'll uh, we'll account for that at the end i'll knock that a bit off at the end Okay, let's see. I mean, that seems quite fast, I suppose. Oh, actually, yeah, that that seems that seems really fast to be honest for what it's doing. Okay, but nonetheless, I will speed through this one and come back at the end. Okay, I'm gonna jump in here in in the last ten seconds. As soon as that number disappears or whatever i'll just hit pause it's paused a little bit it sometimes does that let me get ready to hit oh there we go pause right i'm going to say that my reaction time was also a second out there so from the beginning and the end i'm going to knock a second off for each so that's going to take that down to three minutes and seven seconds let me just make a note of that now again just for being thorough about these things is that the file there there we go x265 so let me just have a check at the get info and this one is 755 megabytes now also as well while we're at it here 
but oh, these are all going to be roughly the same because it's the bit rate that determines that and before anyone starts saying things like it's unnecessary for that bit rate because you know h.265 is more efficient than h.264 once again this is just a speed test where i have to pick a bit rate and all the rest of it okay so that's the file size now let's have a quick look at uh, the picture playthrough so again a bit of a picture quality test thing which once again won't matter because this is an encode of an encode and we're not looking at this subjectively in any way whatsoever because we still don't even know what the original one looked like or anything like that however i can tell you right now that what i'm seeing on the screen here is basically exactly the same as what the original one was and that is visually obviously any encode will not reproduce something which is identical because technically there will be differences however visually this looks just like the original okay so let me stop this now what i'm going to do is flip over onto the hardware variant which is going to be video toolbox h.265 okay once again we don't have any options here for presets which is the reason why we're using ultra on the others and let's see tuning is all non everything is auto bitrate is identical because as you can see i'm just changing the one thing here which is the actual encoder itself okay so if we come down here i will call this one vt265 okay that should suffice there now let me go back here to the stopwatch let me just clear that and i'll start this so start and start i was probably a second out there so we'll, we'll knock that off at the end let me have a quick look at the start of this let's just get a feel for what it's doing um time wise oh actually that seems to be plowing through it uh, do you know what i will leave this one to do it in real time now immediately what i can say here is this is very impressive because this is h.265 that we're encoding to and the speed of this for h.265 bearing in mind that this is a 4k 24 frames per second file it's also 10 bits as well on the input this is very impressive i would say um i mean the thing is obviously you know people can make up their own kind of judgments with these things but right now i'm saying that this is very impressive now let me get ready to do a pause here stop talking david you're only going to confuse yourself right hold on ah okay <laughs> i was definitely a second out at the end there and it was a second out at the beginning so i'm gonna call that as 57 seconds okay now just straight off bat that's the exact same time as the uh, video toolbox h.264 file took as well so yeah there's some stuff to be discussing there in the comments i would imagine okay so let me have a quick look here and i'm gonna hazard the guess this is going to be roughly the same file size because it is the same bit rate so let's go to get info and once again 755 megabytes we're roughly just a couple of megabytes away from each other with all this which is to be expected uh, because of the fixed bit rate when I say fixed bit rate it does vary slightly but to all intents and purposes it's a fixed bit rate now let me just have a quick look here at this file so i'll play this through okay so what i'm going to do now is just flash up all the final results here okay so in software mode x264 took one minute and 32 seconds video toolbox took 57 seconds doing h.264 and doing the h.265 variant x265 took three minutes and seven seconds and video toolbox doing h.265 took 57 seconds okay so there's enough stuff in there for people to kind of absorb and take on and whatnot and all the rest of it so let me know in the comments your thoughts about the results here and stuff if you've liked the video please give it a thumbs up also consider subscribing to my channel getting all over the bell notification icon button anyways i'm just off now down to my mates trellies to sell them a mac mini m1 i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now